Hi there, today we're going to be talking about the processes of erosion. The term erosion is a geographer's word to describe the process of water wearing a rock, usually either found at the coastline, like when a wave erodes the cliff face, or in a river channel where the water within the river erodes the river's banks. A bit like transportation, there are four key types of erosion you must know. First is hydraulic action. This process involves water entering cracks within the rock face due to the high force and strength of the water. This constant force of water entering cracks and increasing the pressure further weakens the rock face over time. As this process repeats over and over again, the rock face can become unstable and eventually begin to erode away. Second is abrasion and this should be remembered as the sandpaper effect. The process is just the same as when you use sandpaper to make a surface smoother, as you might have done in design and technology lessons at school. So as the load, which is essentially just the geographer's word for all the rocks that are carried by the river, so as this load is transported by the river from source to mouth, the sediment rubs against the riverbank, slowly removing and wearing down the riverbank face. Third is attrition. This process involves the small rocks being carried by the river, crashing into one another, causing the rocks to break up into even smaller pieces. So as we move from source to mouth, the likelihood that the rocks being carried have crashed into another rock increases. This explains why as you move from source to mouth, the particle size being carried is often smaller and more rounded because of this erosive process. Finally, Solution involves the chemical reaction of water with rock types such as limestone and chalk. This process causes the rock to dissolve and therefore become smaller and erode. So to conclude, there are four methods of erosion you should know. Hydraulic action, abrasion, attrition and solution.